A new report found popular breakfast foods and cereals marketed to kids contain a weed killing chemical that some health authorities link to cancer. This is so bizarre to me, but the research that came out this morning discovered trace amounts of something called glyphosate that are in oats and granola and snack bars. Anna Warner has more on what you should know. We're very concerned that consumers are eating more glyphosate than they know. Scott Faber has been working to improve food safety standards for more than a decade. He says the team at the Nonprofit Environmental Working Group, or EWG, had a lab test 45 samples of products made with conventionally grown oats and found glyphosate, the active ingredient in the Monsanto weed killer Roundup, in all but two. I was uh, shocked. Dr. Actually. Jennifer Lowry heads the Council on Environmental Health for the American Academy of Pediatrics. We don't know a lot about the effects of glyphosate on children, and essentially we're just throwing it at them. EWG used its own more stringent standards to conclude that products with excessive levels of the herbicide included Quaker Old Fashioned Oats, Cheerios, Quaker Dinosaur Egg Instant Oats, Great Value Instant Oats, and Back to Nature Classic Granola Clusters. Glyphosate was even found in a few organic products, though most had non-detectable levels. The World Health Organization says glyphosate is a probable carcinogen. The state of California lists it as a chemical known to the state to cause cancer. Monsanto disputes that, saying in a statement glyphosate does not cause cancer and has a more than 40-year history of safe use. And Monsanto criticized EWG's research, saying even at the highest level reported, an adult would have to eat 118 pounds of the food item every day for the rest of their life in order to reach the EPA's limit for glyphosate residues. Did Monsanto fail to adequately warn of the potential risks? Answer, yes. But last week, a jury in California ordered Monsanto to pay one man $289 million in damages after he claimed the company's glyphosate weed killers caused his cancer. And EWG's favor is skeptical of EPA's glyphosate limits. We don't think it does enough in particular to protect children. It is time now for them to step up and do their jobs to ban glyphosate. Zen Honeycutt heads Moms Across America, a group formed to raise awareness about toxic exposures. Her family switched to an organic-only diet after her three sons developed allergies and other health problems. We want to trust that what is in the grocery store is safe. And the shocking reality is that in many cases it's not. We reached out to the manufacturers of those products. In a statement, Quaker said, we proudly stand by the safety and quality of our Quaker products. Any levels of glyphosate that may remain are significantly below any limits of the safety standards set by the EPA and the European Commission as safe for human consumption. And General Mills told us our products are safe and without question, they meet regulatory safety levels. The EPA has researched this issue and has set rules that we follow. Anna Warner, CBS News, New York.